Gary Griffith will be appointed the next Commissioner of Police after the motion to approve his nomination to the position was approved in the House of Representatives today. 19 members voted for, none voted against and 13 abstained. All opposition MPs present during today's sitting abstained from the vote. Honorable members, the vote for the, upon the division is 19 members for, no members against, 13 abstentions. So the motion is carried. Former Minister of National Security under the PP administration, Gary Griffith, is the only nominee who actually applied for the position of police commissioner, according to Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley. The government's major concern with the Police Service Commission's establishment of a merit list is that it placed two people who had not applied for the job to the top two spots of the list. The government had made it clear they would not have accepted anyone who has not applied for the position. Dr. Rowley also said political affiliation was not a factor. And for the benefit of those who have this idea that because Griffith had a political uh, persuasion somewhere in a party other than the PNM. Madam Speaker, the history will show that there were many people who were politically opposed to the People's National Movement in their service to the public of Trinidad and Tobago in the political arena who under various PNM governments were allowed to serve in other positions. He said Mr. Griffith had done right for the citizens of this country in the past. A man who stood up to his colleagues who would ask him to do wrong and do right by the people of Trinidad and Tobago. And Madam Speaker, on that basis and that alone, I have enough to ask my colleagues to do one thing. Today, before I came in here, I instructed the leader of government business to lift the whip on all PNM members of parliament. I do so now. And every PNM member is free to vote for or against this motion. And Madam Speaker, I beg to move. Yes. Dr. Rowley said there's been a lot of public debate regarding the selection of a commissioner of police, even though the same process was used to select former commissioner of police, Dwayne Gibbs. He said the government had a mandate to appoint a commissioner of police and added it was unacceptable not to have a substantive appointee in this post.